There are many causes of hearing loss and solving each mystery for each and every patient is the job of audiologist Dr. Danny Genevico. He discusses the testing it takes to make a diagnosis. Take a look. Well, we've talked before about testing children and things like that and things with hearing aids, but uh, as far as adults are concerned, we do what are called diagnostic audiological testing. Uh, we can determine whether or not a person has a hearing loss fairly easily, but it's a bit more difficult to determine where that hearing loss is coming from. Oh. Sometimes it can come from the middle ear where someone might have fluid or the little bones weren't vibrating. Uh, sometimes it can come from the inner ear itself, so if you've been around a lot of loud noise, things like that. And sometimes it can actually come from the auditory nerve that runs between the inner ear and the brain, such as uh, certain neurological diseases like uh, multiple sclerosis or auditory neuropathies and even tumors sometimes. So that's also a part of what we do here. And I imagine if somebody is unable to communicate, these are important tests to find out what's wrong with them. Yeah, it is because people can't really tell you much except things are distorted, things are not clear, I've got this ringing and buzzing in my ear, uh, and that's, the history is important for us, but uh, a basic hearing test has got to be amplified significantly by other tests to try to determine the area where the hearing loss is originating. And can we actually see how some of these tests are done? Sure, be glad to. Okay, so this little cubicle is where we do diagnostic testing, and uh, we basically do three major types of tests. The first one is called evoked potentials. The person sits down, we put a couple of electrodes, which we'll do right now, on their head, kind of like an EEG. It's not uncomfortable. You don't get shocked, unless you're bad, and then, of course, it shocks you. Uh, can I pretend it hurts? You can pretend to scream. Okay. <laughs> now, uh, all of these tests are, are very benign. Nothing hurts, no risks. Most of the time, all you feel is a little piece of tape on you. And so we put electrodes uh, on your head, and then we put a couple of little insert earphones in, which we will do now. And we allow you to listen to some little clicks in your ear. And as the clicks enter the ear, the auditory nerve fires impulses. And so what we do is we measure the speed of those impulses to determine whether or not they are slow or fast. This is a, a patient that we have uh, recently run. And it looks like a lot of funny lines. But basically, each one of these peaks is a synapse in the central auditory system where uh, a neural impulse gets goes to a relay station and then it fires and it goes to another relay station and when it fires we get an amplitude that we can measure uh, the first one occurs in the inner ear the last one occurs in the brain stem so this is kind of like uh, a radar gun for the highway patrol we're going to see how fast those nerve, nerve impulses are moving so we measure one ear and then we measure the other and we see if there's a difference between those two we're measuring in milliseconds, which wow. is very, very fast. Mm -hmm. So uh, even a slight delay can sometimes indicate things like neural degeneration or things maybe like uh, MS or lesions in the ear. Uh, so it's a good way of determining whether the hearing loss is actually coming from the inner ear itself or from the nerve pathways between the inner ear and the brain. That is fascinating. Okay, the next test that we do is called autoacoustic emissions. And to do that test, we have a little probe that we simply slip into the ear canal. It's very comfortable, doesn't hurt. And we send signals to the inner ear. We send little pips, little frequency uh, bursts. And we look for a signal returning to us. So not only is the inner ear a microphone that can pick up signals from the outside, it's also a speaker, so it can actually emanate signals back to us. And if the inner ear is healthy, then we get a good strong signal. I don't know if you can zoom in on this screen, uh, but if you see the little blue line, that tells us how strong the return signal from the inner ear is. And when we've got a good strong signal like that, we know that there's no damage to the inner ear. And of course, if you had uh, a good inner ear and still have bad hearing, then there's always a possibility it's not in the inner ear at all, but it's in the nerve endings uh, or at least the higher uh, nerve functions between the inner ear and the base of the brain. So this is a very good diagnostic test to differentiate between those. Another test that we are involved in is the test of the balance system. You've got a lot of dizzy people, and they're not all blonde. So no. hey. <laughs> well, we've got a great example here. Uh, dizziness can either come from the inner ear, it can come from the electrical connections between the inner ear and the base of the brain, the brain stem. 
Uh, so we have to try to determine if we can, when a person is dizzy, what it's coming from, because there are a lot of different issues. So we do test for balance disorders. Now, if you look at this, she just got off of the spaceship, and mm -hmm. I asked her to take me to her leader, but she <laughs> wasn't there. So uh, the helmet is a infrared goggle system. So when we pull this down and we start the test, then we are actually able to look at her eyes with an infrared camera. So just to cool. give you an idea of how the test works, if you will look at the bar, this is one of many tests we do, and let's go ahead and start it. Uh, we have the patient looking at uh, little uh, lights, little diodes, and those diodes will move across there, and we have them follow them, and based on how their eyes follow them and how accurately they do it, we get a good idea if the system that keeps our balance through our eyes is working properly. Because That's we, fascinating. You don't keep balance just through your inner ear. Everybody mm -hmm. thinks, oh, it's inner ear. Your inner ear is a part of your balance system, and your eyes are a part of your balance system. And so by doing this, we can watch the way your eyes are moving and correcting and try to determine the differences between these. One additional test we do, which we won't do with you, is we actually do a caloric test where we put air into the ear. It doesn't hurt, it's like someone blowing in your ear, but it triggers the nystagmus and we can see if it's stronger on one side than the other. So that is basically what we do when we're doing balance testing. So in summary, uh, we do a good many types of tests, not only to determine if there is a hearing loss, but to try to, to, to determine where the hearing loss is coming from. Mm -hmm. you, know, you can have x-rays, you can have CT scans and MRIs. They look at structure, but the audiologist looks at function. And if you'd like to learn more about how to identify hearing loss, you can call the Lynchburg Area Location of Audiology Hearing Aid Associates at 434-528. 4245. They also have a location in Danville. That number is 434-799-6288. Also more information online at digitalhearingforyou.com.